finally. <laughs> With the planning of it. Okay, let's start again. Okay? Yeah. Uh, hey everyone, uh, what is up? I'm Salman and welcome to Salman Nisa Job. Uh, I'm here right now at Nuaj Cafe in Indra Nagar, a beautiful part of the town uh, with Prithvi uh, from Swaraj Project, uh, which is uh, what I would, uh, I'll let him describe it, uh, what, what I think of as a music NFT project, uh, which I have seen has been doing a lot of interesting uh, things in the, uh, it's supporting the artist ecosystem uh, from India. And recently they have been selected into uh, the Seed Club SEO5 accelerator, which is very interesting. So at this moment, I just wanted to take the time uh, to have this chat with uh, uh, Prithvi and find out about all that they've done so far and uh, what they're looking out to do in the future. They also uh, have something very interesting going on today, actually, literally, uh, that I just found out about. Uh, we're going to discuss about that as well. It's a drop. But anyway, uh, how are you doing, Prithvi? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Awesome, bro. Uh, first of all, uh, let's start with like, uh, just about yourself. Like, uh, who are you and how did you get into the space? Sure. Uh, so my name is Prithvi Shankar. I'm one of the uh, co-creators of Swaraj Labs. Uh, prior to this, uh, for the past two years, we've been building a social music app called Hummit. Um, and over the past uh, year or so, we've been um, working on the Swaraj project. Uh, you mean the team behind uh, Hummit has been working on the Swaraj project? That's correct. So we happened to uh, you know, speak to a bunch of artists. Uh, we ended up onboarding one of India's biggest music producers onto our team uh, to launch this music NFT project. Uh, in essence, we are essentially an internet collective of artists and technologists uh, who are working collaboratively on onboarding India's brightest artists to Web3 by helping them find a presence and build an audience in this space. Awesome, awesome. I want to take a step back and understand the Hamid product, if you don't mind. Like, what is it that you're doing in that space? I feel like that is an important part of the conversation because you bring a unique uh, value proposition to the space, actually, by being technologists who uh, are, you know, working in, like, music NFT scenes. So if you can just help us understand, like, what, have you be, what has been the team doing before this? Right. So we've always felt as a team that, uh, you know, music is, has intrinsically been social. Uh, so the need for uh, you know social signaling around people's taste in music has been a behavior that has been existing since decades, right? From you know people exchanging playlists to fighting over aux cables during a road trip, or you know metalheads sporting band T-shirts all the time. There's a lot of social signaling around people's taste in music, and that's essentially what we were trying to capture through Hummit. Uh, so think of Hummit as a social layer that's. Uh, that sits on top of streaming platforms integrated with uh, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube mu- Music, etc. Which anyone can find on the Play Store uh, globally? Yeah, yeah. So it's available on the Play Store. Uh, we are at about uh, 55,000 users globally from 125 odd countries. So you described Suraj Project as a way to support creators. So what does that mean? Like, wh- wh- why, do, do, why do creators need support and why... Do, does it do why creators do you mean musicians specifically yeah so uh, while building Hamid we got a chance to sort of uh, dive deep into the music streaming industry and to sort of understand the economics and we ended up realizing that uh, you know music streaming uh, is fundamentally advertising driven right and hence it tends to become a zero sum game where I have a certain amount of revenue that I've generated through ads which have to now distribute between the creators, right? So at the end of the day, it sort of ends up becoming a rat race for listens, for streams, for those numbers, instead of, you know, having a captive audience of uh, folks who are actively engaged or even financially invested in your success. So would you say that it's a problem that you identified through your previous experience or was that a previous mission of yours through uh, building Hamid that you're now manifesting in through Web3? Right, so the, the fundamental uh, sort of thesis has remained the same, right? Uh, we felt that, uh, you know, existing vessels of consumption uh, are largely designed for private consumption, right? And um, it's, uh, you know, given that music plays such an important role in a lot of people's lives and on average a person spends about three hours per day listening to music, uh, we felt that the industry was terribly undervalued uh, given the impact of you know streaming and um, you know we've been looking at we've been seeing uh, you know the nft space evolve for quite some time uh, one of my co-founders is an active investor trader and he has been sort of uh, keeping a keen eye on this space and he realized the 
the potential in terms of you know what this can do, what this technology can do in the lives of creators, uh, and that's essentially what got us started. And all of those conversations with artists, you know, um, led us to believe that there's a lot more in this space. Wanna speak about that? Just if you can clarify, what do you mean three hours? People spend three hours a day. Uh, you know, uh, so on average, uh, you know, a person like you and me spends about three hours a day listening to music. Now that could be, you know, while working out, could be while, uh, you know, gaming, it could be while uh, okay. even working, cooking, etc. Right. Now, tell me about like, what, what is the Swaraj project looking like today? Like, what, what is it? It's a, it's a Discord server, it's an NFT, you have, a, you have something going on today, uh, you're, la- you're launching something which is a gallery pass. So just right. describe to us like, what is it looking like today? And then we'll get into what the work went behind that. Right, so the Swaraj project is currently a collective of 32 artists uh, who have collaborated on this collection of audiovisual NFTs, uh, which would be dropping in about a week's time. Uh, and prior to dropping, and these are all original singles uh, that have been recorded collaboratively. So we have 10 music producers and 22 vocalists that we are working with. Uh, each of the producer sends in samples of you know, one minute long beats. And these beats are then shared with the vocalists and the vocalists add a vocal top line on top of these beats. And effectively, you know, what we end up with is a collection of remixes, which sort of draws inspiration from your generative 10K PFP project. It's just that now in terms, instead of, uh, you know, visual layers, you have layers of audio, right, Uh, which are contributions by the producers and the vocalists who are involved in each of these NFTs. So interesting. So... uh, can you explain again how how does it become what is the generative about this like yeah right so uh, currently it's not generative uh, but it's it's similar to generative projects okay. in the sense that uh, you know you have multiple nfts that have the same underlying beat uh, but you know on one nft you have a, a classical vocalist yeah. singing a top line you have another hip hop artist singing to the same beat and so it it ends up becoming uh, like this collection of remixes effectively you also have something called a gallery pass, which I have minted, uh, gasless mint. Um, what, what is that about, actually? Right, so uh, the thing with music NFTs is that, uh, you know, beyond the visual artifact, uh, there is an element of music, right, which uh, takes a bit of time for people to soak in. Uh, so the idea with the gallery pass was that, uh, you know, to sort of give our early supporters, our early believers and our community members uh, early access to the Swaraj artwork itself, right? So uh, a week before our auction, uh, which is when the, you know, the first collection of the audiovisual NFTs would be live for purchase, we wanted to give this exclusive uh, immersive gallery experience on the web that uh, is token gated and that's what the gallery, gallery is all about. Very interesting. It sounds like a real gallery, in fact. It's just, today, this, today's date is September 27, by the way, just to document it. So, um, as we are recording, taking a step back, what have, what ha- how long has this project been um, active? And, uh, and what have you all, what has the team been up to? Right, so we've been on this together for over the past six months now. Uh, we started off with a focus on building out our early community because that's, what we realized is, you know, very critical in this space. Uh, you know, if you see the more successful NFT campaigns have been community-driven rather than, you know, one-off celebrity drops, right? Uh, so we realized the importance of that community building very early on. So we, um, and that's of course when when we met initially as well and in, in during one of the meetups. Uh, so we spent a lot of time trying to, you know, speak to our potential collectors, buyers, and try and understand how we can go about building that community. And at the same time, we also had, um, you know, our artists who were essentially working through the pandemic, uh, you know, completely in, in a completely remote setting, uh, collaborating on the artwork itself, right? And uh, if you see each one of the 32 NFTs that go live for auction in the coming week uh, is the work of five different artists. So we have one music producer, one vocalist, one uh, photographer, one 2D illustrator and one 3D illustrator involved in each and every unique NFT, wow. right? Okay. Yeah. How, how large is this collection, by the way? Sorry. How, how big is this collection? Uh, so the yeah. So 
So we have divided the Genesis collection into five different volumes. So think of these volumes as albums, right? So the first album uh, would contain a total of 32 unique NFTs, uh, which is the collaborative effort of 10, 10, vo 10 musicians and three visual artists. Let's talk about the mint information, no, or finan not financial advice. Uh, like, what, what is that looking like? Sorry? The, the, how, 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 what is going to be the mint price? How, how, what's the strategy there? Okay, right. So, uh, for the mint, we are going with an with a English auction. Um, the idea being uh, we start at a reserve price and we let the market decide the price of these one-on-ones. Uh, the reserve price for the auction would be nearly 0.2 ETH. Uh, so that is, you know, that's the point where you can start placing your bids. And uh, the auction would be live for a total of seven days. So you can place your bid anytime during the seven, seven days. Can you give some example of some other project that has uh, used this approach? Like, do you know? Right, so there are a bunch of projects including, uh, you know, the Nouns DAO, um, a bunch of other NFT projects who have art blogs. Yeah. So it's like the nouns, the way they do their daily auctions. Okay, now taking a step back again, because I know you, I know some other community development efforts that you've done, which is one is this WhatsApp group you have going on, which is very active, uh, Web3 uh, WhatsApp group, uh, where a lot of people, including myself, uh, just have discussions and uh, exchange leads, I guess. And also, uh, you host, uh, you host a lot of Twitter spaces over the past many months. So can you describe these two uh, efforts and how did that, how much time has gone into that and what has been the work behind that? Right. Right. So we started off the you know WhatsApp group uh, because we realized that any community in India, you know, if you if you look at look at it in terms of the you know frequency of touch point, uh, a platform like WhatsApp works best. Right. So uh, very few people in India use Discord, uh, to be honest, especially like day to day. Right. So that was the expectation when we started the WhatsApp group. Um, can we get you know a bunch of people who are working in the space? Uh, who are active contributors, founders, builders, you know, artists, everyone across the spectrum uh, on you know a bunch of these WhatsApp and Telegram. It's a solid WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's how our community was seeded in the beginning. And uh, a lot of it was thanks to you know some of the on-ground events that we organized. Uh, so some meetups, a bunch of other meetups that we sponsored you know as the uh, event partners as well. Uh, so yeah, that's that was how the WhatsApp group came to be. What, what is the Discord looking like today, and how has it played a picture? Has it been useful for y'all? Yeah, for sure. So uh, we recently opened up our Discord server. Uh, we realized that it's important for our artists to be uh, you know heavily invested in in Discord if we want uh, you know fans or community members to start engaging. So uh, initially, the Discord server was just close to the artists that we were working with. Uh, as of now, we have nearly 700 members on our Discord. Uh, we host, uh, you know, regular events, uh, both across our Twitter as well as our Discord, you know, to keep the uh, engagement going. Um, and off late, we've been organizing a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, the series of uh, Twitter spaces uh, called the Block Party, uh, which is, you know, which is uh, in, in some ways... Uh, an, an online sort of interpretation of the on-ground events that we were uh, hosting where we invite folks uh, from the space and have a candid conversation with them. So it sounds like you were using Discord also to kind of train the artists to like be part of this ecosystem, engage with this ecosystem. Is that right. a conscious thing? Yeah, so uh, the, the mission behind uh, what we're doing is to help onboard artists uh, to Web3, right? And by onboarding, it's not just about helping artists sell NFTs and make money out of it. It's about helping them understand the nuances of going direct to fans, of being accessible, constantly engaging with their fans. Uh, so that was the idea behind, uh, you know, getting all of our artists familiar with Discord, Twitter, uh, and now it's just become second nature to them. What, what have been the feedback from the artists, like engaging with this project? What, what, how are they feeling? What do you yeah, no, so the auction is obviously coming up, so um, you know, all of the artists are excited for that. But apart from that, I think the biggest takeaway for the artists is the fact that they have had this opportunity to collaborate with, uh, you know, 10 to 12 different other artists uh, from across the country, right, who they've probably never, they've never met or they would have never ever met in their life. Uh, if it wasn't for Swaraj. So having the ability to actually collaborate on art 
uh, you know that goes beyond borders has been a really a really interesting outcome of this whole exercise awesome awesome now t- seat club let's talk about seat club how, how did that happen uh, how did seat club happen and how did you get in it very just a quick thoughts uh, i have uh, club tokens and i was part of this uh, vetting process so to speak uh, where they recently introduced something called an accelerator dot seat club dot xyz previously they used to handle this uh, cohort uh, selection process commuting they used to engage through something called a right race uh, on mirror i think they de- that got deprecated and they have introduced this platform which is a very interesting platform which is why actually i bought these tokens just to engage with it and it was a nice experience where there's like just going through that going through the accelerator platform uh, you got to learn like a lot of about a lot of uh, projects uh, and communities uh, that are uh, try that are at very early stages of their journey sorry for the sound in the background um, at a very early stages of of their journey and what is a little what i found particularly interesting is the fact that the communities were directly speaking to a certain audience which is club uh, community so i found that to be particularly interesting and uh, when i saw you guys apply i was like wow very, very cool i was happy to see that and uh, finally now i know that you guys have um, uh, been selected so what has this process been like right so i think um, so firstly a um, you know, big shout out to gorang he is the one who actually pushed us to apply and we had actually um, you know we had been tracking uh, seat club for a while gorang dot eat uh, yeah yeah so we had been following seat club for a while now especially given that uh, you know a lot of interesting music and nft projects have come out of their accelerator programs in the past uh, but we really did not think that we stood a chance until gorang you know pushed us to apply Uh, yeah we ended up applying and uh, after i think a couple of rounds of uh, so there was one round which was a community driven uh, sort of a voting round and then uh, two other rounds of interview uh, where the entire team sort of uh, had a conversation with our team uh, try to sort of evaluate us on uh, why we, why we would be a good fit for them and uh, how they can essentially play a, a part in our journey as well what do you feel about this process like uh now that you i mean however familiar you are with seal club and this kind of an ecosystem of a kind of a web3 community accelerator so of sorts what 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 are you hoping for and what what do you look forward to and also tell us about the alumni of the not alumni the uh, the cohort yeah yeah so um, obviously the new cohort is uh, is extremely new in the sense that the cohort hasn't started so we are yet to sort of interact with each other but uh, some of the past alumni include uh, you know water and music uh, pool suite uh, song camp chaos uh, so some of these global coin research cross house uh, cabin dow crazy crazy alum yeah. yeah so these are some of the projects that have really inspired us so it's exciting to be uh, you know at least working in their shadows uh, i think more than anything what c club brings to the table is the kind the access to the kind of community not just in terms of the collectors but also the creators and other uh, platforms and other projects that we get access to uh, especially their alumni as well as the peers from our cohort i'm actually particularly excited for you guys with this because i think even out of india i think we are yet to see a breakthrough nft project and uh, seat club i think can you know empower you to get there and especially with the kind of interest in the music nft space there's been so much discussion uh, so i think you guys are well positioned to you know obviously you're already launching something but also to get some acceleration from that community is going to be very interesting to see so very excited uh, any any closing thoughts that you want to just also like any any uh, advice you have for uh, folks that are interested in you know mu- either one music nft scene and second uh, uh, web3 in general like right so um, i mean one thing is we are going live with our gallery soon in fact today uh, so by the time the video is out uh, you know we are probably live uh, so would request all of you to check it out uh, you know it's a sneak peek into what's yet to come uh 32 art pieces it's uh it's a collaboration between uh, some of india's finest artists vocalists and producers um answering your question uh before, about before, yeah before that please subscribe to salman needs a job this channel uh, very interesting uh, conversation coming like this yeah <laughs> no i think in in terms of uh, what we are looking forward to is uh, obviously putting india on the global map when it comes to uh, web3 projects because 
apart from you know certain infrastructure solutions or certain uh, you know L1 L2 blockchains uh, there's not been in- anything interesting in the nft slash creator slash dao space uh, and you know it's uh, and hopefully we we do a, a good job there repping india in the global map uh, but i think apart from that i think it's an exciting exciting time to be in the space uh, there's a lot happening a lot for people to uh, understand uh, you know pick up and sort of try to differentiate and you know build out something that's truly unique if 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 i wanted to launch a community project what would be your first um, sorry an nft project what do you, what would be your first advice to me uh just go out there and talk to a thousand people uh, just what should i talk uh about anything under the sun and as long as you find a lot of people uh you know who are in, interested in one particular subject and if you think that's something that you know your peaks your interest i think there's something possible there Bro, thank you very much. Where can people find you and just uh, shout out to whatever you're doing? Sure, sure. So you can check out Swaraj uh, dot art. Uh, that's our uh, website. Uh, www dot Swaraj dot art. Um, and yeah, we are um, out there on all 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 of the social channels out there, including Twitter, Discord, um, Swaraj Project on on Twitter, and uh, again Swaraj Project on Instagram as well. Uh, my name is Prithvi. I'm Prithvi underscore S A N on Twitter. That's about it. Thank you Thank very you so much. much. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Again, subscribe. <laughs>